guys, it's Tessa from HandleTheHeat.com. You've probably seen spaghetti squash recipes floating around Pinterest and the internet lately. And I don't know about you, but when I first heard about spaghetti squash, I was super skeptical about it. But once I tried it out, it's actually really delicious and super easy, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. So let's get started. I have one whole spaghetti squash here and one big knife, and I'm just slicing it through completely. That can be a little bit difficult, but just try to find your biggest, sharpest knife to get the job done. Now I'm taking a spoon and I'm going to scoop out the seeds and membrane from the inside of the squash and just discard that. Once the seeds and membranes are scooped out, I'm going to drizzle my squash with olive oil, about um, two tablespoons of olive oil or so, you can estimate that. And then a generous sprinkle of salt and pepper and the next one is totally optional, but I think it adds a nice little extra kick of flavor. I usually add one teaspoon of dried Italian herb mix. Now I'm actually going to flip my squash so that the cut side is facing down on my foil lined baking sheet and roast at 400 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. While it's roasting, I'm going to get started on my meat sauce. I like to use turkey sausage, hot spicy turkey sausage, because it adds nice flavor without all the fat. And so it keeps this dish um, low fat. Once my turkey sausage is all cooked and crumbled, I just add some marinara sauce, and you can use homemade or store-bought. So it's been 30 to 40 minutes, my squash is tender, and so I'm just using the tines of my fork to scrape the squash, and that's what creates the spaghetti shape. It's that easy, it's basically naturally the shape of spaghetti. It's actually pretty amazing. And the spaghetti squash has a nice firm texture. Each string of squash has a bite to it, very much like spaghetti itself. I'm just plating up my squash here, and as you can see, it looks just like spaghetti even on my plate. I'm going to top it with a generous spoonful of my meat sauce, and then we're almost done. Look how beautiful that looks. Doesn't it look delicious? All right guys, I have my spaghetti squash and my sauce plated up. I have one less thing to add before we can give it a taste. I'm gonna grate some Parmesan cheese on top. Let's try it out. Mm. I love this because while it's not exactly the taste and texture of actual pasta, it totally satisfies any pasta cravings without carbs, without gluten, you're gonna get an extra serving of vegetables. It's great, you guys are gonna love this and I hope you make it for dinner soon. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next Wednesday for another food video.